Shalom, the Lord bless you, the Lord increase you, the Lord honor you. I want to specially welcome every one of you to tonight's meeting. And uh, I want to encourage every one of you that today is your first time of joining any of our meetings to consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And as you do so, beloved, you will never, never regret ever doing so. I assure you of that in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, tonight is our mom's and dad's prayer night. Tonight, we are here to wage war. And I want you to get yourself ready. If you have your loved ones around you, gather them together. It is prayer time. And I have only but two major assignments tonight. The first assignment I have is to restore back to you everything the enemy has stolen from you from divinity. When the Lord Almighty was sending you to the planet Earth, He sent you with a master plan. He sent you in the volume of books. But when God was ministering to me concerning tonight, He said that some of you under the sound of my voice, the master plan He has for you is not what you are actually executing upon the face of the earth. And I asked what happened. He said the enemy has done this. Some of you are living on a plan given to you by demons, on a plan given to you by forces of darkness. You are not even aware of it because what happened happened in the realm of the spirit when you are still there in your mother's womb. And the enemies are taking your divine plan. They have diverted it, they are manipulating it, and they are using it to populate the kingdom of darkness. But hear me, beloved, tonight, by the reason of our praying together. That's your divine master plan. God himself will search it out. And it shall be restored to you and I. In the name of Jesus Christ. And then the second assignment that God has sent me to carry out here today. Is the assignment of waging war against the spirit of death. In the book of Matthew chapter 2. As soon as Jesus was giving birth to. He star appeared in the sky. The wise men, the astrologers, they did everything possible to see if they can divert the star of Jesus. But they could not. Herod did everything possible. He killed every child born within that range. What was his mission? To kill the king of glory and to stop his glory. Beloved, we have an enemy called death. In this journey of life. But I've sure you have been hearing about enemies of God. Enemies of your destiny. And the only thing you know about is Satan. Satan is not the only enemy we have on the earth. Death is one of them. And tonight below, we are going to be praying. Before we go into today's prayer. If you are not born again and you are under the sound of my voice. The devil will not obey you. Because you are living in disobedience. The Bible said it is only when your own obedience is complete. That is when you can be able to command those that are living in disobedience. Tonight we are entering into the battlefield. Are you born again? Is there anything at all that will stop you from receiving answers at this altar of prayer tonight? If your answer is yes, can you please bow down your head and say, Father, I am sorry. Any sin that would deprive me this restoration. Any sin that would deprive me answers at this altar of prayer tonight. Lord, I ask for thy mercy. Father, forgive me. El Shaddai, forgive my spouse. Elohim, forgive my children. And let our prayers tonight, O oh Lord, receive instant answers. Receive instant answers. Receive instant answers. I hope you are praying to your Father. As you are praying that, say, Father, tonight... I have come to receive grace. I've come to receive grace to help in time of need. Indeed, Lord, I want to fulfill my mandate on earth. I've come to receive grace to pray tonight. Grace to generate result at the altar of prayer. Grace to generate answers. Grace, oh Lord, to decree things tonight and it be established in your heavens. And it be established right here on earth. Lord, I ask for grace tonight. Release on me, Abba Father, grace to help. Grace to help. Grace to pray. Grace to receive answers. Lord, I am not worthy. 
I am not faithful enough. Let your mercy find me tonight. Let your mercy blot away my sin. Let your mercy blot away the sins of my spouse. Let your mercy blot away the sins of my children. Release on me, Lord, great to help as I pray tonight. Cause my prayers, our Father, to receive instant answers and result as we pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, we are about to pray. The first prayer that God gave me for tonight is this. You are going to pray like this and say, Father, tonight, restore my divine master plan. In case I am living with the wrong master plan, given to me by the enemies at bed. Pray that prayer with the whole of your heart and say, Father, restore to me your divine master plan for my life and correct all satanic errors all demonic alterations, all that the forces of darkness has altered in your divine plan for my life. Jesus, tonight as I begin to pray, search out where the enemies has kept ah, your divine master plan for my life, for my ministry, for my career, for my marriage, for my destiny, for that of my children, for that of my husband. Lord, search them out right now and restore them back to us. I refuse to live on the face of the earth, running on the plans of the devil, running on the master plan of the witches, running on the plans of the cultic world, running on the plans of any anti-God kingdom, running on the plan of any anti-Christ kingdom, running on the plans of satanism and occultism. Lord, if I am not running on the path that you, God has called me to run on the face of the earth. Lord, this hour, I reject these demonic plans. I reject these occulted plans that the enemies has handed over to my life. And I ask this day, Lord, by your mercy, restore to me your divine master plan for my life. Restore to me your divine master plan for my ministry. Restore to me your divine master plan the plan uh, for my marriage, for my children, for that of my spouse, uh, any alteration of any sort, uh, anything at all the enemies has altered, uh, anything at all that the demons has altered, uh, anything at all that the powers of darkness in any realm of existence, uh, in any level of existence has altered. Uh, my father, as I pray right now, uh, uh, restore them back, restore them back, uh, correct every error, correct every alteration. Uh, Correct every alteration, correct every alteration, and restore to me right now your divine master plan for my life, for my destiny, for my ministry, for my career, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, I don't know what the enemies are giving to you as the God's plan for your life. I do not know what they have altered. In the plan of God for your destiny, in the plan of God for your career, in the plan of God for your marriage, in the plan of God for your children's life, for the life of your spouse. But as your amen will thunder right now, I call upon Jesus, the Mecca, ah, the Lord of Lords, the one with the keys of hell and Hades. I ask that He will show up for you and I right now and locate every corner of the earth, every corner of the planet, every altar every realm wherein the enemies has kept God's ordained uh, an original master plan for your life. I ask that Jesus will search it out uh, and restore them all back to you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, amen, amen, amen. Uh, beloved, we are still praying. Uh, you are going to pray and say, Father, if I am in a location not in your master plan for my life, uh, if I am in the location not in your master plan for my ministry. If I am in the location, not in your master plan, oh Lord, for my life and destiny, Lord, today as I pray, relocate me and release unto me your divine allocation for my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Some of you need to pray this prayer. This is the reason why you are prayed and prayed and you don't have open heavens because you are in the wrong location. Pray and say, Father, if I am in the wrong location, 
Oh, for my destiny, for my career, for my ministry to prosper. Right now, Lord, relocate me, relocate me, relocate me, relocate me, relocate me, oh Lord, and let there be a release of your ordained allocation for the prosperity of my ministry, for the prosperity of my life, for my financial prosperity, for my career prosperity, for my ministry prosperity. Lord, take me to my rightful location in life, where you have made available the allocation for my destiny, the allocation for my help, the allocation for my lifting, the allocation for my increase, the allocation for me to advance in life and destiny. If my husband is in the wrong location, if my children are in the wrong location, ah, Father, I ask for a divine relocation right now. I do not know how you are going to do it, but Father, I call upon you this hour. Lord, relocate us to our divine location of increase, to our land that is flowing with milk and honey. We refuse to dwell in the land of slavery. We refuse to dwell in cities wherein you, God, has not appointed for our life and destiny. We refuse to stay in places where conditions of life has kept us. Therefore, Father, by your almighty hand, that man, that woman that needs to be used by you uh, to move us from Lodeba, Ayiko, Sopranicate to the palace. Uh, Lord Jehovah, bring those men right now. Uh, let there be a divine relocation, divine relocation uh, to where our allocation is, to where our divine allocation is made available. Uh, Lord, we refuse to be like Mephibosheth uh, uh, dwelling in Lodeba, well, his allocation is in the palace. Uh, Lord Jehovah, any place we are right now that is not your rightful place for our lives. Lord, divine relocation that so that our allocation will locate us, so that our divine financial allocation, our divine career allocation, our divine angelic allocations will locate us and begin to carry out the assignment in our lives. So I will not end up this year, Lord, ah, not actually fulfilling purpose and destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. I don't know whom you are as you are praying that prayer. The Lord is showing me somebody that the enemies has put in a strength garment on you, a garment that is not of the Lord, a garment that God has not put in upon you from divinity. And I see you pulling away that garment. Right now, I command and I pray for every one of you under the sound of my voice. Ah, anybody here that is not putting on the garment that divinity has sown for their lives, for their destiny, for their ministry. Right now, as you amen with thunder, I command that garment to be taking off you right now and I command that the garment of glory, the garment of lifting, the garment of the supernatural that God has made for you. I ask that it be put in on you right now and let that filthy garment, that garment of shame, that garment of retardation that you have been putting on, let it be destroyed now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you that is in the wrong location. Mm the wrong location for your ministry the wrong location for your allocation to locate you I pray for you let the Lord Almighty relocate you right now to where he has made available everything you need in life for you to fulfill destiny and purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, some of you need to pray this prayer of location over and over again. That was reading the scripture, the Bible said that after the baptism of Jesus Christ, Jesus was all this way in the wrong location, being Nazareth, but there was a place God has ordained that he would live. And from there, he will be ministering and be going to places. When it was time for Jesus' ministry, there was a divine relationship location. Uh, beloved, I don't know where you are, but some of you, you are in the wrong location where God has not 
place your allocation. Uh, uh, and the more you stay there, the more you become a slave to the kingdom of darkness. Uh, the more you suffer. You need to pray this prayer over and over again. And say, Father, relocate me uh, to where your divine allocation is waiting for my arrival. Uh, uh, relocate me to where my destiny helpers are waiting for me to visit me. Uh, relocate me, Lord, to where my career helpers are. Uh, relocate me to where the angels you have assigned uh, uh, to my destiny is waiting for me. Relocate me, Father, to where my milk and honey is. Relocate me, Father, to my robot. Where nobody, no man, no woman will ever contend with my glory. We ever contend with my ministry. We ever contend with what I, 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 I bring forth out of life and destiny. Where I will not be, I will not actually be competing with anybody. Where nobody will close up what I have actually labored and toyed for. Ayekedo, can you please pray that prayer again in the next one minute. Lord, relocate me. I ask for divine relocation. Relocate my husband. Relocate my children. Relocate us, Father, that our lives will be better than what it is today. We refuse to dwell in a location that the enemy has taken us to. We refuse to stay where our allocations are not. Lord, do it and receive the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, as you pray that prayer again, it is settled in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, we are still praying. The next prayer we are going to pray is found in Revelation chapter 12 from verses 1 to 4. I want to read that scripture for you before we pray it. The Bible said, I said, and there appeared great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried traveling in Beds and pain to be delivered, and there appeared another wonder in heaven. Satanic wonder appeared in heaven to stop this woman from delivering her destiny, to stop this woman from delivering the seven stars, from achieving the seven mandates that divinity has set her on the face of the earth to deliver. The Bible said in that first scripture, in verses. So I said, this woman is clothed. There is a divine garment, glory, that God has put in on her. She was clothed with the she was clothed with the sun, and the moon was under her feet. And her head was put in her. There was a crown of seven stars put in on her head. And this woman was, was coming with a great zeal and passion. She was crying in her spirit to come to the earth to make a delivery to deliver lives, uh, to deliver her assignment, the same way you and I came. But before this woman came to the earth, before this woman could arrive the earth, another wonder appeared in the heaven. And this wonder, the Bible called it a great uh, red dragon. And this dragon had seven heads. The target of the seven head was to destroy the seven stars. The seven head and the ten horns were there to destroy the seven stars, to destroy the child, to destroy the woman. Let me finish that scripture for you. He said that this dragon came with ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. Only to contend with one crown with seven stars. And he said in verses 4, And with his tail, he drew the third parts of the seven stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. He did not come alone to fight the woman. He engaged the stars. He drew them. He came with demons and released these demons against the woman. He cast them into the earth. And the dragon himself came and stood before the woman that was ready to deliver the child. Waiting for the child, the glory. Waiting for the child to be delivered. So that as soon as he's been delivered, he will devour the child. Beloved. Hmm. Hmm. 
If you are living your life on earth just like that, and you are not spiritually sensitive, you are just wasting your time. You are here on earth on a mission. Don't just live your life on the falsehood that nobody is fighting you. The devil is fighting that star. The devil is fighting that glory. The devil is fighting to see to it that you don't manifest the will of God. Why did I read this scripture? The Lord Almighty gave me a prayer point that we must pray concerning this scripture. And that prayer point goes like this. Every satanic force that is as old as I am, every demonic force, every powers of darkness assigned after my life, assigned after my glory, assigned after my mandate on earth to make sure I don't fulfill it, to make sure I don't accomplish it. Lord, as I pray right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I demand that they be all arrested. I care not to know how many stars the devil drew upon the face of the earth. Ah, how many demons he released to stop me. How many demons he released to stop my children. To stop our ministry. To stop these brand children that God has given to us. Lord, I so pray right now, locate those forces by the power of the Holy Ghost and stop them. Arrest them and their demons. Arrest them and their forces. Arrest that dread dragon, that demonic force assigned to stop this glory, to stop my glory, to stop the glory of my children, to stop my husband, to stop the fulfillment of my destiny. My father, my maker, locate those forces of darkness right now. Arrest them and destroy them. Arrest them and destroy them. Arrest them and destroy them. That I may fulfill my mandate on earth. That I may fulfill my assignment on the face of the earth. I hope you are praying. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, every herald, every woman agent, they are working hand in hand with her in order to stop my glory, in order to stop the manifestation of the purpose of God for my life, in order to stop the manifestation of the purpose of God for my husband's life, in order to stop the manifestation of the purpose of God for Solomon, for David life. You are a liar. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you demons be arrested by fire. I command you powers of darkness be arrested by fire. I command you agents of darkness die in the order of Herod. Be consumed by fire. Be destroyed now. Ah, my destiny I will fulfill. My assignment on earth I will fulfill now. My destiny I will fulfill. My marital destiny, my career destiny, the destiny of my children they will fulfill now. My husband destiny he will fulfill now. We are unstoppable now. And the power of darkness and the agent of darkness are demonically released upon the face of the earth to stop the manifestation of my calling of my assignment upon the earth. Areketusha pratekatea be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, locate and destroy you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, I do not know what God has sent you to the earth to do. I do not know what is written in the volume of books you have come. But I pray for you today, every association of demons, every anti-God powers, every anti-Christ powers, every satanic powers assigned against the fulfillment of that your destiny. As so amen with thunder right now. I ask that the fire of the Holy Ghost, I ask that Jesus himself, I ask that the King of Glory himself will arise for you and I and locate such a forces and destroy them now that you may fulfill your destiny, that you may fulfill your mandate upon the face of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. I cannot to know who is working with them uh, as an agent of darkness living around you, uh, as an agent of darkness in your father's house, uh, in your paternal matana. Uh, but as your amen 
with thunder right now. Any agent of darkness uh, release after your life here on earth. Uh, ah, walking with the powers of darkness uh, to stop the fulfillment of your destiny. Uh, as your amen with thunder right now. I ask that those agents of darkness uh, will die tonight uh, in the order of Herod. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and I ask uh, that the Lord Almighty uh, will shield you from today uh, with his angels uh, that you may fulfill your calling uh, and your purpose uh, upon the face of the earth. Uh, unhindered, uh, unstoppable, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, amen, amen, amen. Beloved, we are still praying. I told us that the second assignment I have for today is the assignment of praying against the spirit of death. I do not know the spirit of death released after you. are. I read something in the scriptures in the book of Job chapter 38 verse 17. That scripture said, it said, have the gates of death be opened unto thee or has thou seen the doors of the shadow of death? Ah, I do not know who has opened the gates of death, who has opened the doors of the shadow of death against your life, against the work of your hands, against your ministry, against your career. I do not know who is announcing your name to the spirit of death and destruction. Ah, when I read John chapter 28 verses 22, the Bible said that the death and destruction said, we have heard about it. Ah, they have heard about your business. They have heard about your calling. They have heard about about your marriage. They have heard about your destiny. The question is, who has announced those things to them? What are the forces of darkness that have announced your business to the spirit of death? And since they did that announcement, you have not been able to progress beyond where you are. You have not been able to make any progressive progress in life and destiny. We are going to pray and we are going to say, Father, any spirit of death and hell, any shadow of death and destruction after my life and my marriage, after my destiny, as I pray right now, I release the fire of the Holy Ghost against you. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost against you. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost against you. I care not to know who has assigned you against me, whether it is on a legal ground or an illegal ground. I cannot to know who has announced my ministry to you was announced my destiny to you. This hour I ask that the fire of the Holy Ghost will destroy such a man and a woman and let the spirit, these demons, these forces that the enemies has released after my life, after the work of my hands, after my ministry be bound right now and be cast into the lake of abyss. Let them all be bound. You, the spirit of death, assigned after the work of my hands, a sign after my marriage, a sign after the life of my husband, a sign after our destiny, be bound up and be cast into abyss now. You are the spirit ah, of, the, of the shadow of death, you are the spirit of hell, you are the spirit of destruction and death. A sign after my marriage, a sign after the organs in my body, a sign after my health, a sign after any aspect of my life. What are you waiting for right now? By the power of the Holy Ghost, I bind you. I bind you, I bind you, I bind you, and I cast you into the lake of abyss. Remain there bound to the day of judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, I do not know ah, what the enemies of your life has released after you. But eventually they have assigned the spirit of death against the work of your hands, against your destiny, against your married, but eventually they have assigned uh, or they have opened the gates uh, or the shadow of death uh, or the gates of death and destruction onto your life. Uh, in case they have opened the gates of hell uh, or they have actually opened uh, the 
doors of the shadow of death after your life. Yeah, me beloved, as your amen with thunder, any aspect of your life that have opened these doors to her, I command them to lose the horse right now of that aspect of your life. I command them to lose the horse right now of your health, of your marriage, of your career, of your destiny. And I ask that the hand of the Lord Almighty, by the power of the Holy Ghost, will arrest that spirit of death, of hell, of the shadow of death and destruction. Let them all be bound right now and be cast into the lake of abyss, where they will remain there bound, never to assess you or your children or your business or your organs or any aspect of your life forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, we are still praying. You are going to pray and say, Father, any parts of my life, any organs in my body, any parts of my children's life, any organs in our body, any of our businesses that the spirit of death and destruction has held captive. Ah, the Bible told us how the spirit of death still held captive Lazarus. Ah, even though Jesus has called Lazarus to come forth, the spirit of death still held Lazarus from cheating his hand, from cheating his leg. Until Jesus demanded that the evil clothes of death be removed out of the life of Lazarus. And Jesus said, lose him and let him go. As soon as Lazarus was loose and let go, the spirit of death left him forever. I do not know, beloved, ah, what aspect of your life that the spirit of death has covered, that the spirit of death is holding bound. Some of you, the spirit of death is holding your womb bound. That is why no baby has ever come out of that womb alive. Any conception you have, the baby will die. Some of you, the enemy has held the work of your hands bound with the spirit of death. That is why nothing enters your hand and leave. Nothing enters your hands and leave. Nothing you do with your hands. Survive a long time. Some of you, when they give you anything, the thing dies in your hands. Ah, I don't know what they have actually uh, specialized on. I don't know what they have actually released the spirit of death upon. But you are going to pray and say, Father, any aspect of my life that the spirit of death and destruction has held captive as I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command that aspect of my life to be loosed. I command that my finance to be loosed. I command that my marriage be loosed. I command that my organ be loosed. I command you my womb be loosed. I command you my finances be loosed. You aspect of my children life. You aspect of my husband life that the spirit of death has held bound. What are you waiting for? Loose them and let them go. Lose us and let us go. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you to lose us now. Lose us now. Lose us now. Lose us now. And let us go. And let us be free forever. Never for you to return. Lose us right now. Makatu sheketeyata. Makarabazu kaneketu jabranda kateyata. And the aspect of this ministry that the spirit of death has held bound. I command you to lose this ministry and let it go. Lose what must pray international and let it go. Let it go. Let it go forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, I do not know the aspect of your life that the spirit of death has held bound. But I pray for you this hour. Ah, but I've sure they have had burned your health. But I've sure they have had burned your organs. But I've sure they have had burned ah, your reproductive organs. Ah, they have had burned your womb. Ah, but I've sure they have had burned your finances, ah, your connection, your contact ah, from bringing forth result unto you ah, as your amen way thunder. Ah, by the power of the Holy Ghost, ah, I command any spirit of death and destruction ah, that has held any aspect of your life burned. Ah, I command them to lose 
lose you now and let you go. Let them lose you now and let you go. Let them lose your health. Let them lose your marriage. Let them lose your finance. Let them lose your business. Let them lose your career. Let them lose your children. Let them lose any aspect of your life that have had bad. Whether with death or with the shadow of death. Whether with destruction or any of the evil mediums of theirs. I command them to lose you and let you go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You are going to pray and say, Father, this hour as I begin to pray, any satanic man or woman that is announcing me to the spirit of death and destruction, that is announcing any good thing that happens to me to death and destruction, that have been echoing my name in any evil altar, ah, announcing that nothing I do will ever, ever last, that I will not enjoy blessings a long time, ah, thereby bringing death upon any good thing that happened for me. Magabasu, the Lord, it is unto your word. Your word said in Psalm 23, verse 6, you say, goodness and mercy shall follow me uh, all the days of my life. Uh, and you said in your word that I shall not die, uh, but live to testify of your goodness upon the face of the earth. Uh, therefore, Father, anybody altering death, uh, anybody at all altering this word upon my life, uh, and they have been announcing my name, announcing my business, announcing my ministry, announcing my children's name, announcing my organ uh, at the altar of death, at the altar of destruction. Uh, this hour Lord, as we pray, locate that agent of darkness uh, and stroke them dead, stroke them dead, stroke them dead. Uh, let that death they have released after my life, uh, that death they are announcing me to, uh, turn back to them now and destroy them. Uh, turn back to them right now and execute uh, that evil destructive assignment, uh, that evil assignment of death, uh, that evil assignment of destruction uh, they have assigned against my life, uh, against my ministry against my career. Locate that agent of darkness now. Execute that evil upon the head. Execute that evil upon their destiny. Execute that evil upon the work of their hands. It shall not stand anymore upon my life. I reject the continuation of that satanic release. Therefore, any agent of darkness related to me by blood or not, any of my siblings, any of my uncles, any of my relations, announcing my life and destiny to the spirit of death. Anybody announcing that of my husband. Anybody announcing that of my children. To the spirit of death and destruction. What are you waiting a life? I command that spirit of death. That agent of death. That spirit of destruction. To locate you. To locate your business. To locate what you are doing. And let them destroy you. Let them kill you. Let them massacre you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen. Beloved, I do not know who is announcing your name, announcing anything good that happens to you, to the spirit of death. The Lord said there is somebody here. You have lost so many children because somebody, whenever they hear that you give birth to a child, they will announce the name of that child to the spirit of death and the child will die. There is another person here under the sound of my voice. The Lord said anytime you conceive, the enemies will take your mother to the evil altar and they will destroy the seed growing in your womb. I do not know whom you are and what the enemies has been doing in your back that has been generating death. Ah, I don't know what they have been doing, but I pray for you this hour. Anybody at all related to you by blood or not, every unfriendly friend of yours, every enemy living around your vicinity, they have been announcing anything good that happens to you to death. As your amen will thunder right now, I ask that the rock of Gibraltar will locate them with death and destruction. Let the God to whom vengeance belongs to arise for you and vindicate you tonight and stroke that enemy dead so that anything you do from today will live and not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, we are going to pray. This time around, I want us to destroy the altars of destruction and death in any realm of existence where the enemies has raised this altar. But this prayer, we are going to pray it with a battle seed in our hands. Pick up a prophetic offering. You are going to drop that offering 
after this prayer. Pick up a prophetic offering and say, Father, when the enemies erected this evil altar, they erected it, O oh Lord, with a sacrifice. And since that time, they have been coming to this altar to destroy things around me, to invoke death upon anything good that happens to me. This hour tonight, I have appeared in your altar. The altar that I belong to. The altar that I pray at. And I ask this day, Lord, as I shall be dropping this seed at your altar, as I shall be dropping this prophetic seed at your altar, any evil altar anywhere, any anti-God altar, any anti-Christ altar, any altar of satanism, any altar of sorcery, any altar of witchcraft, any altar of necromancers, any altar wherein the enemies are consulting with the spirit of death, any altar at all wherein they have been invoking destructions of any sort upon my life and destiny. Lord, tonight I invoke the shedded blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ah, let the blood speak for me on this altar. And let this blood ah, fight for me tonight. Locating those evil altars of the enemies. Let those altars be destroyed. Let those altars of the enemies be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the evil sacrifice be countered. Let the evil sacrifice be countered. As I drop this battle seed right now, as I drop this prophetic seed at your altar, Lord, let those evil sacrifices of the enemies be altered, be altered, be altered, be destroyed. Let the altars be set ablaze. Let the altars be destroyed. Let every spirit behind the evil altars be arrested by the blood of Jesus Christ right now and be bound and cast into abyss. Be bound and cast into abyss. Let every destruction, every evil works they have done on this evil altars against my life in the past be destroyed now by the blood. Be destroyed now by the blood. Be nullified now by the blood. Be brought to extinction right now by the blood. Any, any power operating at this the evil altars ah, sent on an evil mission against my life. Jesus, by your blood. Arrest those spirits, arrest those powers, and cast them into abyss and destroy them all by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, as you drop that prophetic seed in your head, I ask that the blood of Jesus Christ ah, and the sacrifice of Jesus. I ask that it will arise for you and I as we do this. He will arise for you and I and fight any standing altar anywhere. Any altar in the marine kingdom, any altar on the face of the earth, any altar in any planet at all, any altar in the airways, any altar in the clouds, in the stars, in the moon, in the sky, in any realm of existence, let the blood ah, and the sacrifice of Jesus Christ fight for you and let those altars be brought down by fire, let those altars be destroyed, let the spirit and the powers behind those altars be arrested by Jesus himself. And let those powers be destroyed by him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, we are still praying. You are going to pray and say, Father, tonight I decree and declare that my destiny shall not be wasted. My calling on earth shall not be wasted. My assignment as you have sent me to the earth will not be wasted. I decree I shall not die. My ministry will not die. The work of my hands will not die. The mandate of God upon my life will not die. Open your mouth and begin to confess that word upon your life. Decree and say, Father, tonight I decree that the work of my hands will live. It will not die anymore. The destroyer will not see it. Ah, death is no longer allowed anywhere close to me. Ah, agents of death, agents of destruction that the enemies are situated upon the face of the earth and they are wearing human images and they are 
walking upon the face of the earth, uh, walking against me, walking against my ministry. Lord, tonight they are all arrested by fire. Their will and their purpose, their missions uh, will no more be accomplished upon my life uh, because we must pray international with live and not die. Ah, Peter Linus what you go will live and not die. His destiny will be manifested upon the face of the earth. Uh, my children, David Linus, Solomon Linus, uh, you will live and you will not die. None of all shall die. None of all shall die. None of all shall die. We will not die untimely. We will die at our full old age. We will not be destroyed by death. Untimely in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall live and we shall manifest the will of God upon the face of the earth. Ah, Death will not take us on our ways. We will refuse to die when God has not written for us. When God has not written that it is our season of death. Because I know that there is a time for my life and there is a time for my death. Any power of darkness that want to alter it or that want to shorten it be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not die. My husband will not die. My children will not die. We will die in our full old age. In the name of Jesus Christ. We will live here on earth and we will fulfill purpose. We will live here on earth and we will do the will of God. We will live here on earth and we will proclaim the name of the Lord. See Christ call us back home at the right time when we shall go with him to enjoy in eternity. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, I pray for you. You will not die. I say you will not die. You will live to testify of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree the work of your hands will not die. Your ministry will not die. Your, your home will not die. Your marriage will not die. Your career will not die. Nothing will die in and around your life. This year and beyond, you will live to your full old age. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen, amen, amen. Right away, beloved, I do not know what has brought you to the presence of God tonight that we have not mentioned. Some of you, you have other needs, other things that you would desire that God Almighty will do for you. This is the time you have to present that matter to God. It is time for personal supplication. It is time to speak to your Father concerning that matter that must turn to testimony, concerning that matter that must turn to miracle, that must turn to, to that must change, ah, to the glory of God. Open your mouth and pray right now. Speak to God about that wayward child. Speak to God about that your business. Speak to God about this ministry. Speak to God about uh, his kingdom, about your country, about your continent. Say, Father, I will refuse the spirit of death and destruction from manifesting in women's prayer international, from manifesting in any family here, from manifesting in our homes, from manifesting in our business, from manifesting in our career, from manifesting in our nations. We shall not be victims of death and destruction this year. Our children will not be victims. Our husband will not be victims. Our marriage will not die. The sweetness in our homes will not die. I hope you are praying. I hope you are praying. I hope you are praying. Hope you are praying. Open your mouth and decree. Talk to your father. I don't know what has been giving you sleepless night. Speak to God about it. Say, Father, that God that revived the womb of Sarah, ah, despite the deadness of it, and you caused her to conceive. I don't know who has this prayer. Pray and say, Father, doctors say that my womb is dead, it cannot conceive. They say my fallopian tube is dead, it cannot conceive. They say there is a growth in your womb that it cannot conceive. Open your mouth and call upon the God that resurrected the womb of Sarah and caused it to conceive. Say, Father, tonight I have come for the resurrection power to hit me. Let your resurrection power come upon me right now and resurrect everything I told that the enemies has killed in my life and resurrect my organs and resurrect my organs. I don't know whose organ that is dead here. They told you you need to a transplant. I don't know 
God said there is somebody here. Ah, your organ is dead. Your organ is dead. Ah, there is a dead organ in your body, in your reproductive organ. Ah, in your respiratory organ. Ah, say, Father, tonight, by the resurrection power of the Lord Almighty, ah, ah, let every dead organ in my life, ah, let everything the enemy has killed in my life, ah, resurrect now, resurrect now, resurrect now, ah, resurrect now, resurrect now, resurrect now. Ah, ah, jump back to life. Let there be a replacement ah, in places that needs to be replaced. Ah, let there be a replacement right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be a replacement. Agabazuka neke tu jabranda gabaya kateya. Magabazuka leke teke teya. Ragada da 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 da. Lord, let there be a replacement to the exaltation of your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Gaba shana bragado shepeteya. Beloved, I pray for you. I don't know whom you are specifically. The Lord is saying there is somebody your organ. Ah, the doctors have declared it dead. Ah, you, you have given up on that matter. You say you cannot be able to use your womb to carry babies. Ah, they say you cannot be able ah, ah, to live with that one organ. Ah, that is only the other part unless you do a transplant. Ah, I don't know the part of your organ that the doctors have declared dead. Ah, but hear me, child of God, right now, as your amen will thunder. Ah, I ask that the Lord Almighty, the God that made the womb of Sarah ah, to rise up from the dead, ah, let that same God that made Jesus' body uh, that died to resurrect. Uh, that same God that made Lazarus uh, uh, who was buried for four days uh, uh, to rise again. Let that same God that uh, released the resurrection power uh, and caused the organs that was dead and decaying to walk again. Uh, let that same God breathe upon your organs right now. Let that same Jesus breathe upon your organs right now. And let every dead organ, every dead organ, uh, every dead organ, every dead situation, uh, every dead marriage, every dead business, every dead career, oh yeah, jump back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, every clothing of death, every hands of death, every sting of death that is holding those part of your life bound, I command them to lose you and let you go. Lose him and let him go. Lose her and let her go right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree you organs leave. I decree you businesses leave. I decree you destinies that the enemy has killed. Leave and not die again. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will fulfill your destiny here on earth. Your destiny will not be wasted. The Westerns are hereby ah, declared. Ah, no access to your life. This hour below, I pray for you. I declare your life your destiny, your marriage, a no-go area, out of bound to the kingdom of darkness, to the forces of darkness, to any power that is anti-God, to any power that is anti-Christ, to any power that is satanic. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. It is well with you. It is well with your family. It is well with your loved ones, uh, your children, your entire household, the work of your hands. I cover with the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, I decree that this year and the remaining days of this month, uh, no weapon formed or fashioned against you and your family uh, that will ever, ever prosper. Any tongue uh, that will rise up against you in judgment, uh, I ask that the Lord Almighty will arise and destroy them. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, this hour I release you to go. Uh, and begin to manifest the purpose of God for your life and destiny. You will not be wasted. Your purpose on earth will not be wasted. The Wester is hereby declared no more assets to your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are out of bound for the kingdom of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. It is well with you. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Beloved, tonight... Before I go off your way, I want to bring to every one of you this few announcements. The, the phone number that some of you have been using to reach me, um, I observed that my SIM card got damaged. Okay? So I've not been using that phone to make calls recently. And I can't receive calls with it because it's not even visible on any phone. So I want to encourage every one of you, if you want to send any message, just send it on WhatsApp to the same number. I will reply you. Okay? I am working on getting a new line. 
and then I'll be able to share that line for calls while we continue with this one on WhatsApp. Okay? The Lord Almighty bless every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, don't forget that Friday, I'll be sharing with you um, a topic on um, business. I'll be sharing some business ideas on what you need to do this year in case you are looking for a side hustle, what you can do to actually uh, add more money in your bank account. You know, uh, you're looking for something else you can be doing outside your job. I'll be sharing some uh, business ideas that is going to actually help you this year to achieve those dreams and visions of yours, okay? So please, um, uh, on Friday, be expectant. I'll be posting the video on our YouTube channel. Be expectant as that video shows up. Please watch it, pick up just, just a business idea is enough. Work on it, build on it, and then make your money. So please try and do so. And the Lord Almighty will bless you. He will bless the work of your hands. He will bless your hustle. And you will succeed in it. In the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, notwithstanding, every day that I'm going to be posting every word that God releases to me that day for the family. So I am making uh, recordings, uh, both audio, both video recordings that are less than 58 seconds. So always check out on this channel for those videos that are less than 58 seconds it's less than one minute it's not long so listening to those words is a prophetic word from god some of them are the prophetic prayers from the lord so please listen to them pray them and um, move on with your day you will enjoy your day i'm telling you no power of darkness will take you on away as you listen to those prophetic instructions prophetic words, prophetic prayers, words of encouragement, and so on and so forth, depending on what the Spirit of God lays in my heart. So get ready. This is a very dangerous year. And anything I'm doing in this family this year is as the Spirit leads. Please follow me, and you will not be a victim of any calamity or evil this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. Still your sister, Apostle Maka. God bless you. Bye for now. Good night. Bye.